Okay, let us see with the, uh, today the new topic that is a Z transform. Uh, it is a completely new topic and Z transform is defined over the sequence. Sequence is always discrete in nature. Okay, let us see first of all what is a sequence. If I consider that a sequence that we denote as f of n or maybe a f of n. Okay, if I just say it is 1, 2, 3 and it goes so on. So this is the set of what natural number we are having. So these are in the sequence. Okay. Versus the same way my define kar dao, f of n equals to 1 minus 1 1 minus 1. So again we are having a numbers in a sequence 1 minus 1 1 minus 1. Okay. These are discrete in nature we are having and we define the z transform over this sequence. So I just start here let f of n or fn be a sequence and we note as that is as f0 f1 f2 f3. If you compare it, this is F0, F1, F2, likewise it goes, so on. Okay, we have this sequence. Then we are defining the one-sided Z transform. One-sided Z transform of, of, of F of N is given by then. Z of F of N. Z is called as the Z transform operator. Z transformation of F of N is defined as, which is equals to, summation we have used, which is ranging from N is equal to 0 to infinity with f of n and z to the power minus n. So this f of n appears in the summation f of n here as it is which is multiplied to then z to the power minus n. So this summation is called as the z transformation of f n provided this summation exists, summation value exists because it is an infinite summation we are having. Now if I open the summation we will get a function of z so that's why we denote that, uh, we denote that as a f of z or maybe a f bar of z where we say that this z, small z that we are using here, z is a complex number provided that infinite series, this is the infinite series on the RHS should get converged. Matlab uska ek particular value nikalna chahiye. Okay. Now, what we have seen here, we have defined the z transformation of fn as it is f of z. Okay. And now we are defining the inverse z transform. Inverse mein kya karenge? Inverse of this capital F of z, that will be f of n. Okay, that is Z inverse of it is what F of Z, which will be equals to F of N. So we'll see in the example, what is that? Z transformation of FN equals to, it is a summation N ranging from 0 to, yes please, N is equal to 0 to infinity, F of N Z to the power minus N. Okay, if I on, on the summation N is equal to 0, if I put, what we'll get here? It is F0 Z to the power minus 0 plus 1 put up karenge to F1 Z to the power minus 1 then plus 2 put up karenge to F2 Z to the power minus 2 plus it goes so on likewise okay then this we denote as uh, if we simplify this one this F0 F1 F2 and F3 are the constant term so this we denote kar sakte is function of Z set that is F of Z or F of Z okay so z transformation of fn is it is f of z we have denoted now we'll find out first of all the z transformation of one that will be a summation n is equal to zero to infinity then this fn appear as it is in the summation into z to the power minus n which is equals to then further one multiplied to here it will be same thing i put n is equal to zero one two three and so on so if put up kya to kya jayega? z to the power minus zero z, uh, z to the power minus one z to the power minus two z to the power minus three plus it goes so on then further z to the power 0 is what 1 z to the power minus 1 is 1 by z z to the power minus 2 is 1 by z square z to the power minus 3 is 1 by z cube plus it goes so on this summation we have to find out this, this uh, summation value so we are writing this quantity into what 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square plus 1 by z cube plus good so on this is okay this is then this is nothing but in gp geometric progression Okay, kya hota hai geometric progression, we'll see here. So, A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube. Okay, these terms are in GP. If we take a summation of all this term, which is go, uh, going to infinite, which is equal to then A upon 1 minus R, provided this R is mod R is less than 1. Okay, so what is this R? R is the common ratio we are having in this summation and A is the first term and which is multiplied to the each term here in the summation. 
Now after that, this sum is a upon 1 minus r. If you compare this quantity with this one, it is 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square. It is a plus a r plus a r square, likewise. Okay? So a will be what it is? 1. And 1 by z, 1 by z will be what it is? r. That is common ratio. 1 by z. Okay? So you just use this formula a upon 1 minus r. A is 1, so it is 1 minus 1 by it is z because r is what we are having 1 by z. Simplify the quantity z goes here, z minus 1 by z, z goes up, z upon z minus 1. So z transformation of 1 we have found as z upon z minus 1. Is it clear? Uske baad now, hum nikalte hai formula z transformation of a to the power n. Again, using by definition, it is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power n, z to the power minus n. If I put n is equal to 0, what we have then? a to the power 0, z to the power minus 0. n is equal to 1 put up karenge. Summation on kar rahe hai. a raise to the power 1, z to the power minus 1. Plus 2 a, to a square, z to the power minus 2. Plus this goes so on. Okay. Further, this quantity is nothing but 1. a raise to the power 1, z to the power minus 1 can be written as a by z. This ko likh sakte hai, it is what? a by z ka square. This ko likh sakte hai, a by z ka cube. Again, this is in GP. Compare a, a, r, a, r square, a, r cube. So r will be what? a by z. a is what? 1. So summation that will be given by a upon 1 minus r. That is 1 upon 1 minus a by z. Simplify the quantity. We get it is z upon z minus a. So z transformation of a to the power n. By definition, we have found as it is what? z upon z minus a. Now similarly, we define here it is inverse z transform. Inverse mem kaisa karenge dekho? ये जो quantity है f of z इसका inverse क्या रहेगा it is what 1 this 1 so that is z inverse of z upon z minus 1 is 1 similarly inverse of z upon z minus a that will be a raise to the power n उसको हम लिखेंगे कैसे z inverse of z upon z minus a equals to a raise to the power n एक चीज आपको याद रखना है अगर हम function of n अगर रहता है उसका z transform लेते हैं तो हमको function of z मिलता है और अगर हम इनवर्स ले रहे हैं मतलब हम फंक्शन ऑफ z का इनवर्स ले रहे हैं z इनवर्स ऑफ z हमको मिलेगा फंक्शन ऑफ n मतलब उल्टा ठीक है दैट इज अ इनवर्स z ट्रांसफॉर्म सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डेफिनेशन एंड द बेसिक फार्मूला ऑफ द z ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके आपको ये फार्मूला याद रखना है z ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ fn इक्वल्स टू n इज इक्वल टू 0 टू इंफिनिटी f ऑफ n z टू द पावर माइनस n दिस इज अ वन साइडेड z ट्रांसफॉर्म बिकॉज़ ये 0 से इंफिनिटी है अगर यही माइनस इंफिनिटी से प्लस इंफिनिटी रहेगा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द टू साइडेड z ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके एंड द टू फार्मूला यू हैव टू रिमेंबर z ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ 1 इट इज z अपॉन z माइनस 1 एंड द z ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ a टू द पावर n इट इज z अपॉन z माइनस a ओके थैंक यू